Welcome back to another video. This is finally round 3 of code forces. We are going to see the second problem that is make almost equal with mod. So they are telling that we will be given an array of a1, a2 up till an of distinct positive integers and we have to perform the following operation exactly once. So the operation contains two steps. First thing is we choose a positive integer k and for all the elements in the array we take the modulus of k that is a1 mod k, a2 mod k, a3 mod k until a n mod k and replace that number in the resultant array. After that we have to make sure the array is containing exactly two distinct values. So they are telling that at least one such k exists and if there are multiple solutions we can print any of them. So let's understand this with the help of an example. They gave this array. Uh, a array is 8, 15, 22, 30 and they took k value as 7. So what do you get now? So 8 mod 7 is 1, 15 mod 7 is 1, 22 mod 7 is 1 and 30 mod 7 is 2. As you see for k value as 7 we have two distinct values so that's why the k value they have output it as 7. Now Let's uh, see from the very beginning. So if you want to get uh, an ideal k value, the best thing that we can do is brute force, right? You do k equal to 1, k equal to 2, k equal to 3. Wherever I am able to get two uh, distinct values, I'll stop there and break and print. But it gives a TLA, right? We should not do that. So let's start with the first number that is k value as 1. If k value as 1, every remainder will be 0, right? So exactly two distinct values is never possible for k equal to 1. So this thing is out of the league. If k value is 2, what are all the possible remainders? 0 can come and 1 can come. Now, when can 0 can come? 0 can come when all the num when a number is even and 1 can come when the numbers are odd. Now, let's take an example like uh, 7, 3, 100 and 2. So what happens now? For 2, 2 mod 2 is 0, 7 mod 2 is 1, 3 mod 2 is 1 and 100 mod 2 is 0. So as you see there are two distinct values. So whenever an array contains even and an odd number then we can definitely say that k value is 2. But what happens when an array is containing odd number only or even number only. So that is something that we need to find. So like 1, 3, 7, 11. 15 anything can come and 2, 4, 22, uh, 116, 1016 something like that. What is the number that we can take? Let's say whether we can take 3 here. 1 can come and 0 can come and 1 again and uh, 2. Here itself the value broke right 11 mod 3 is 2. So here 3 distinct values came so 3 is not possible. So if you take 2 everything will be 1. Everything will be 1 if you take 2. And everything will be 0 if you take even uh, for 2 for even number. So we should check for a condition where uh, something actually works right. If we see properly what is the property that's happening is it is basically working on the 2 value right. Like let's try to zoom in a number. See like I try to uh, convert this to a binary number and then try to find out the result here. Let's say uh, these are the numbers. 168421 on 2's power. These are the numbers I took 26, 18, 20, 31. And these are the binary numbers. As we see, we have odd number and even number also, right? So this is not 18 here. This is uh, 19. Sorry for that. Uh, okay. So this is 19 here. So we have odd number and we have even number. As I told earlier, if we divide by 2, we get 26 mod 2 is 0. 19 mod 2 is 1, 20 mod 2 is 0 and 31 mod 2 is 1. What is the property that's happening is it is taking the LSB of it. Got it? So 0 and 0. Now let us assume a case where 2 is not a possible candidate. If 2 is not a possible candidate either everything in the LSB should be 0 or everything in the LSB should be 1. So let's assume that everything in the LSB is 1. So I replace this with 1. Now what happens 16 uh, so 8 plus 2 is 10 11 and this becomes 27. Now what happens to this this is 20 and this is 21. Now we know that if we divide by 2 every number will be 1 right. Now let's try to divide by 4. 
If we divide by 4, what are all the possible remainders? 0 can come, 1 can come, 2 can come and 3 can come. So in binary it is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Now, if we divide by 4, like these are the possible numbers. I can very well say that at the end, right, everything will be 1 here. So this can come and this can come. This and this cannot come. Why, why do I say that? Because if a mix of zeros and ones come, we can definitely get the answer when we divide by two. But if only zeros can come, these two guys can come. If only ones can come, only these guys can come. Correct? So let's uh, try to understand this with this. What is the uh, remainder you're gonna get here? You're gonna get three here. If you 27 mod four is three and 19 mod four is three, 21 mod 4 is uh, 21 mod 4 is 1 and 31 mod 4 is 3. Correct. How do I get it? This is 1 1 value is 3, 1 1 value is 3, 0 1 value is 3 and 1 1 value is 3. That's how we got. Now there are two distinct numbers. Okay. Now in some case like let's understand that even that is also not possible. If this is also not possible what happens here? 16, 20, 21, 22, 23. In 23 case with 2 also I'm getting same remainder, with 4 also I'm getting same remainder. Now let's move one step forward and try to understand what happens if we get for 8. If we get for 8, let's understand what are the possible remainders. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 can come. This is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1. As we know now, the last two digits are 1, 1, right? How do I know that? Because if uh, there is a mix of zeros and ones only uh, these guys can come and uh, two would have taken that now let's rule out all zero one one so zero one one can come and here also one one can come how do it this is a constant number and only two values will change here right see they gave exactly two values so this is one value here zero one one or one 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 suppose if one zero only comes in the rest number is Either 2 will be an ideal candidate 0 1 0 or 1 1 0. If only 0 0 comes 0 0 0 or 1 0 0. Always it will be 2 values only. So in this case 3 or 7 right. Let's try to see what is the remainder of this. Now 27 mod 4. 27 mod 4 is how much? It is uh, 3. And this value is what? It is also 3. And this value is what? This is 7. And this value is what? Everything is 1. This is 7. How is it calculated? This one, this one, this one, this one. So that's how we are able to get it. We just keep going on the leftmost side. Now, same thing. What happened here? This is the same example. Here, I divided it by 2. Everything was 0. So I can't go. So I divided it by 4. Everything was 2. The remainder was 2. No. I divided it by 8. Now every remainder was 6666. Six, six, six. Now if I divide it by 16, I get a different number. 0110 and 1110 are the two possible candidates. What is the proof of this is, whenever I am filling a value on the MSP side, I have only two choices. I either can fill with 0 or either I can fill with 1. See, first thing is 0 or 1 can come. This can map with 0, 1. Sorry, it can map with 1, 0 or 0, 0. This can map with what? This can map with 1, 1 or 0. Again, this have again two, uh, two values, right? See, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 0. This again can map with 1, 0, 0 or 0, 0, 0. So that's why we will check for 0, 1. If that is not possible, you will rule out the case. Like if 0 is not there, all 1s are there, you go here. Only two chances are there. So suppose 0 is possible, only 2 chances are there. If 1, 0 is also coming as same, you go there. Only 2 chances are here, right? That's how you are able to get it. So let me try to ex understand, uh, help you understand this with the help of an example. So what do we do now? If we have a set of numbers, we uh, take the remainder and put it inside a set. A set always contains the distinct numbers. So we take the remainder and put it inside the set. If any, at any point of time, if the remainder size is equal to equal to 2, we break it and print the result. Else, we multiply by 2 and keep rotating until we get the value. So, what, what does that mean is like, I go for 2. If all numbers are same, the set value will be 1 only, right? 
and if you multiply by 2 the set value will again be 1 i will do it until the set value is 2 the set value can never be 3 because every position that i go it will always be at least two values or one value only because the remainder we are doing it is only for two so i am cutting only here and if i cut here if i cut here then uh, if the remainder goes here there are only two possible values if i go here that means what all are same so i am checking for zero another value so if again all are same here i am going for the other value so with two power with some iterations the answer will get over so this is the accepted solution so if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. Until then, see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.